Hey everyone, it's Mr. Donahue. Today's February 11th, and right now I'm standing in front of our annual Super Bowl soup uh, drive, and I would like to announce the winners. As you can see, we have two cards. Each card is designated by a team. We got the Bengals, and we have the Rams. And today, uh, the pins were counted by our student council, and overwhelmingly, the winner was the Cincinnati Bengals with a combined score of 390 cans to 175 cans. I don't know if that means anything, but um, certainly the kids here at St. Benedict's are pushing for the Bengals to win on Sunday. Uh, on Monday, we have a fundraiser coming up run by the eighth grade. Uh, that is a dress down day, and there's also muffins that are being sold. The, um, the muffins, they are sold out, so you cannot order those. Um, you cannot um, you know, buy them at this point, but if you wish to uh, do the dress down, it is $2. That money can be brought in on Monday. This week, we had our open house and uh, the results were overwhelming. Um, you know, We have over 40 new children registered for next year, which is a huge, huge number. We also have a, another open house today uh, this Friday, starting at noon, going till two o'clock, and we have a, another prospective 20 kids. Um, hopefully, are going to sign up then. So we are doing great. Our numbers are, you know, really phenomenal right now. We have a bunch of classes already filled, and that's a, you know a testament to, you know, the hard work of our teachers. Obviously, the good word and uh, you know positive message that's going around about St. Benedict's on the street, and uh, you know your you know, work in sending, you know, good families to us. So we are overjoyed with the response and feedback we're getting. And, uh, you know, next school year, 22-23, is, uh, is going to be another great one, you know, at St. Benedict's. One thing I do want to address is the governor's order uh, that was sent out last week, you know, on March 7th. St. Benedict's school is going to go fully mask optional, uh, which, you know, some people are excited about. So. You know, one thing I do want to say about that is, you know, if you want your kids to still wear masks, please, you know, talk to them and get them prepared. You know, teachers are not going to be able to manage, you know, who's wearing a mask, who's not. So that's really going to be on your student to, you know, to follow those rules and do what you want. So, um, you know, teachers are not going to tell kids to put their masks on or pull their masks up. You know, it is completely optional and we're giving, you know, a little bit of leeway to the kids to, uh, to decide what they want to do. So please talk to them, get them prepared, as I said, and um, you know, prepare yourselves for March 7th. There is going to be additional restrictions that we still are waiting on. Uh, so we will you know, announce those when uh, they come out. But um, you know, this is hopefully you know, a step in beating COVID and a step you know, hopefully in the right direction. So thank you very much. Please enjoy the Super Bowl, and I look forward to talking to everybody next week. Thank you.